of the places you'll go series this morning and we just gave away our first weekend getaway to Joy Rogers. No relation. No relation. She was very, very happy. She was so excited. I just <laughs> talked to her. She's like, this is so great. So thank you, Joy, for watching. And That's she's right. from South Lake Tahoe. Wow. So, and today we're starting our new start for the week for other places you'll go. Off to a new secret location and we're joined by Eric Hollenbeck on the phone. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. How are you this morning? Doing great. Thank you. Now remember how this goes. You can't let us know your exact location where you're at. I remember. Okay. Now you are at the Blue Ox Millworks, which we're not giving away the exact location where that is. Now tell us about your shop. Well, uh, first off, we're uh, first and foremost, we're a working Victorian job shop. One of only eight left in the United States and we make all of the uh, high-end Victorian millwork for homes all over the U.S. using antique tools. Now, it's pretty amazing in there. Your antique tools you have dating back so many years. Tell us about those. Well, the newest uh, piece of equipment we have is a bandsaw built in 1948, and it goes from there back to uh, the tenoner built in 1852. That's pretty old. That's pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> Now, also, you've done some work for some famous celebrities and folks like that. Tell us what you've done. Oh, we've got, uh, my daughter tells me we have work in every state in the U.S., and we've done work for the White House. We've uh, done work on a lot of um, historic buildings for the National Park Service, including the oldest uh, Russian Orthodox Church in the continental United States up in Unalaska. We built all the windows for that. Um, and the governor's mansion in uh, Sacramento and three other governor's mansions in three other states. It's absolutely amazing in your shop. Now, it reminds me of kind of Santa's workshop. Have you been told that before? Yes, we're open for tours, and uh, there's a, there's a uh, self-guided tour that goes through the catwalks and, and through the whole uh, maze. Um, and, and when people come in, especially... Um, on our big event coming up the two days after Thanksgiving, which is Craftsman's Days. And on that event, we have spinners and weavers and glass blowers and uh, many, many, many trades being demonstrated. And I also want to brag about you a little bit. You have actually a school class that you help out kids in your area. We have a uh, full high school program. This is our eighth year in it. For uh, These are students that can't function in a standard sit-down environment. And... Um, We've always had 25 up until this year, and this year we uh, boosted it to 50, and it's called project-based learning, and they get their academic credits through through uh, the different projects that they're doing. Well, you definitely have a great shop up there, Eric. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Now, if you have any idea where Eric is at, go to our website at kolotv.com and click on Daybreak and enter. What a neat place week. to go, huh? So cool. I mean, literally, you walk in and it's like Santa's workshop. Wow. It's amazing. And then for the people that do enter and enter right and who win at the end of the week, that person and whoever they bring gets a tour of his shop. So. Fun. Yeah. Right. Thanks a lot, Jennifer. When we come